This video is how to clean your auger cartridge assembly and FPC module. So what we have here is we have our FPC module attached to the auger cartridge assembly. We also have the cleaning items needed. We have some pipe cleaners here. We have our Q-tips, brush, and lubrication. All of those items are contained in your cleaning kit. And we also have the pin gauges here that will be used to clean the dispense tip. Okay, so to begin the cleaning, we take our complete module, uh, FPC module, along with the sensor attached, and we're just going to pull it or separate it from the auger cartridge. It's just held in place with an O-ring. So we just pull it apart. So you pull it apart. We're just going to set the FPC module aside for now. Then we'll take our auger cartridge assembly and we'll begin the disassembly of it. So just on the top you have a locking nut here. There are some grooves here where you can use the included tool, but uh, a lot of times you can just do it with your fingers. So just unscrew that uh, locking nut, take it out, set it aside. Then you have uh, the auger. You can just pull the auger straight out. Now there also is a uh, washer inside here. It's a red, uh, red washer. Normally it'll be like this while it's inside the, uh, the cartridge, but um, it'll come out once you take it apart, and then you'll have your auger uh, set aside like this. So to clean the auger, the easiest thing to do is just to take one of your uh, pipe cleaners here and put some of your favorite solvent, whether that be alcohol, acetone, or whatever is used with your material. You can take the auger and you can just wrap the uh, pipe cleaner around the auger and then just rotate it. So what that does is that the pipe cleaner is now getting inside the threads and really cleaning out the, the threads really well. Um, and you can do that a few times with the solvent and that will really clean out the threads. And then just dispose of that. So now the auger in general would be, would be clean. So we'll take the auger, set that aside. Okay, now we have the actual uh, cartridge and we have the nut here which holds the needle in place. We'll just unscrew that. And then you can see in the nut, the, the needle is there. We can actually just push that out, and the needle will also uh, fall in place. Okay, now we've got the uh, auger cartridge. Now what we want to do is to clean that. Again, we're just going to use one of these pipe cleaners. Take one of the pipe cleaners, you're going to push that through the feedway. Then you're going to take the other end and push it through the down through this way. And you're going to do that a few times again with your solvent. I like to use a bath of solvent. So I can just put it inside the bath and really clean it out well. And then we'll have our needle. The needle is very easily cleaned just by using uh, the appropriate uh, cleaning wire. Uh, this is a, happens to be I think a 20 gauge needle. Cleaning wire, that will just go through. You'll clean out the main part of the cleaning wire. We'll clean out the main feedway just down here at the end. Then you've also got a drill bit, which is a little bit larger diameter, and it will actually clean out the, 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 the top portion here of your needle. So as this goes through the drill bit, you can be able to rotate that, and that will actually clean out the, the wall, make sure you don't have any debris held up on the wall there, so you clean that out. Then the final one is this little guy that actually has a small tapered cut on the end, and it will actually clean out the very, uh, very fine end of the of the uh, of the needle. So we'll take that, push that on the inside, and we'll clean that out. Again, I like to use solvent in a bath to clean that out. It makes it uh, very quick and easy. Now, for reassembly, the only thing we really need to, to do different here, um, and actually I'd point out this brush. This brush can also be used for, for cleaning out the, the cartridge here as well. You can use the brush in there. But when you reassemble the uh, auger cartridge assembly, all you really need to, to look at that's different here uh, is you're going to take your, your O-ring or your washer here. It's going to go up into to this position. We'll then take a little drop of lubrication here. Just take this. We'll put a small drop of lubrication up into here. Just a small amount. Like that should be plenty. And you take this and just put together. Smear it like that. Reinstall the auger into the cartridge. Put your lock nut back on. Now we're completed. That's it. That's all it takes to clean an auger cartridge assembly. 
um, out of all your little uh, piece parts. That's it. Please let us know if you have any additional questions.